Hi, welcome to another video from Advaita and in this video series we were discussing different concepts and principles of reality transurfing and how they coincide with the teachings of Upanishads and Bhagavad Gita and how we can have better knowledge and better understanding on reality when we understand these two concepts together. So now let's get into the sixth principle which is the boomerang. Whatever thoughts you send out into the world they will return to you like a boomerang. What happens when you hate something? You put your heart and mind into a sense of hatred and this clear sharp image is reflected in the mirror and fills the entire layer of your world. As a result, you will get even more worked up and increase the power of your emotion. In your mind, you feel like sending everyone to hell. Get lost the lord of you. But the mirror sends the boomerang back. You tell everyone where to get off and life sends you there instead. Beware of sending negative energy into the world mirror. If you do, you will receive the same response totally unexpectedly. By the way, love is also a boomerang. Let's look at its interpretation. Thoughts materialize in the world mirror. For example, if you are not satisfied with your outward appearance, you will take no pleasure in looking in the mirror. You focus all your attention on the features you do not like about yourself and you state them as a fact. You have to understand that how you are reflected in the mirror corresponds to how you feel about yourself. Adopt a new rule. Don't look in the mirror. Peek in the mirror. Seek out positive and ignore everything else. Pass everything you see through this filter. Concentrate your attention on the things you want. What did you used to do? You stated facts like, I don't like myself, I don't like my world. The mirror simply confirmed the fact all the more. It's true, that's how it is. Now you have a different task. Seek out the things you love and at the same time picture the desired image in your mind. From now on, all you do is seek out and find things that confirm evidence of positive change. You'll find that things will get better and better with each day's passing. If you practice this regularly, it won't be long before your jaw will be dropping in amazement. Now this is a very popular concept nowadays. Uh, whether we talk about law of attraction or law of karma or many concepts like this, we need to understand that everything in this world is energy. And whatever energy we send as individual points of consciousness to this world gets reflected back. However we have created our lives around us, the amount of money that we make, the relationships that we have, everything starts from within. So most of us think that we feel a certain way because of the things that are around us. But the actual truth is, it is because of the way we feel, the things around us are the way they are. So this is the fundamental shift that we need to make and this is the fundamental thing that we need to understand. First, we need to accept the responsibility that we are the creators of our lives and we need to make sure to only send positive thoughts, positive feelings and positive energy into this world. And this world as a mirror will reflect back that energy and we will in return have a positive life. So this is what this principle is talking about. One simple Sanskrit phrase which says it all is Yad Bhavam Tad Bhavati. It literally means what you feel happens. So it is very important for us to take account of the thoughts that we are having on a constant basis and the feelings that we feel on a regular basis because these are unconsciously creating our realities. Now it's time for us to make use of this knowledge and use our thoughts, emotions and feelings to create the life that we want to. So I hope this video was helpful for you. If you find information like this helpful, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and I'll see you on the next one.